So sometimes when you compare yourself to many other people, you will find that, well, this person knows statistics better, this person will know how to make graphs better, this person can write better, this person knows math, this person knows molecular methods and so on and so forth. And so in the end, that comparison in your mind leaves you thinking, I don't know anything. <laughs> and what am I even doing here? And why do I have this position, like in my case? And that feeling is known as the imposter syndrome, and maybe you've heard about it, and maybe you have some features of that or some symptoms of that, and if you do, I think it helps hearing about it. And this is what this video is about, starting right now. Well, I had a point in my career a um, number of years back where I felt this rather strongly, and it was not pleasant. It was actually a very negative feeling that I felt like, mm, really, I... <laughs> I don't know these methods, I don't know how to do that, I don't know modeling, I don't know statistics, um, I don't know the molecular methods and um, I don't know the taxonomy and I can't identify this and I can't identify that. And so the, the, this came from uh, comparisons with individual people in my lab group even. It wasn't even going outside to feel depressed basically, it was just in my group, um, which is of course an excellent group of people, but there I you know, basically just compared an individual bit by bit, person by person, one on one interactions, what they know and what I know. And it seemed like every time I was, um, well, drawing a short stick of that, <laughs> that interactions, like this person knows way more about that than this other person. And that the summary of all these one on one interactions led to me feeling, I don't know anything, what am I even doing here? And it's not a pleasant feeling. Well, and then it so happened that I think it was on Twitter, I saw this cartoon that really explained the situation. It's like in your one-on-one -on -one interactions with individual people in series, basically you always make that call about who knows more or who knows less about something about the particular topic that you're talking about. And well, you realize, you know, this person knows more about molecular methods, this person knows more about statistics and so on and so forth. And therefore it looks to you like you always know less in whoever you talk to, you're always the person that knows less. And it was just a simple cartoon <laughs> that literally made all the difference in, from one moment to the next. And that was that, well, yeah, there may be these individual interactions where you are basically less knowledgeable in this particular area, but you are the one actually having all these interactions with all these people and all these different topics. So actually you are the big central bubble in the middle in this cartoon. And this is actually quite an accomplishment and quite an achievement. And it instantly made me feel better. I mean, as I still remember this moment when I saw this graph, it's like, Holy cow, this is exactly what this is. And so, you know, if you haven't seen this before, then just Google it and you will find all kinds of depictions and all kinds of additional explanations on this topic. I know this feeling can be crippling, it can be a motivation zapper, it can be a, basically a terrible um, experience when you think this way. But once you have realized that you are actually somebody having all these interactions with these different people, then you know that in the sum of these interactions, not in the individual interactions, but in the sum of the interactions, you actually know quite a bit and you're doing quite well. So, I mean, it took for me, to, literally, it took seeing this cartoon, but maybe it also takes more effort to get over that. So, I mean, basically list all the things that you know in all these different areas. And when you find yourself making this judgment about, oh, wow, you know, Joe knows more about um, molecular methods and Anne knows more about statistics than, than I do, for example, then, then make this list of, you know, what, what you also know and tally that up. And in the end, I think you will also find that there is quite a lot that you have to offer and it is unproductive to basically rate your abilities based on these one by one interactions. In isolation, you should look at your entire portfolio, your entire package. Anyway, so I hope you, um, if you are at all prone to this imposter syndrome, which I think a lot of people are, then hearing this will help you. Um, I definitely had this <laughs> very bad, as I said a number of years ago, and it was a real 
real game changer and a motivation boost to realize this, that actually I do have a lot to offer and I can talk to all of these people. And uh, yeah, so basically this was an amazing insight that really changed everything. So I hope you'll have a similar experience and I wish you all the best with that. And thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.